Olympic College students, staff, and administrators held a rally Wednesday in response to a recent hate crime in which racist graffiti toward a particular faculty member was found. As the crowd gathered in the Bremer Student Center, ASOC President John Bowers, one of the primary people responsible for organizing the event, began the event by addressing the crowd. The response to this incident was terrible. Not, not the administration's response, not the facility's response, not security's response, but the community's response. The, the culture that exists here is the culture that responded to that situation, and that culture is really what needs to be changed. We can write all the policies in the world. We can we can um, we can make all the you know all the paperwork changes, but you know we can hire different people. We can jump through whatever hoops we want, but it's still we, until we start to change the culture. We start to recognize and appreciate what's going on around us and work as a community to change that. We're not going to get anywhere. We're going to be running into these problems with bad responses again and again and again. A variety of people from the community with respected positions spoke, and Bowers introduced the first speaker, Bishop Lawrence Robertson of the Emmanuel Apostolic Church. In this county, in Kitsap County, every time that I call it the ugly demon, would show his ugly head. All of us on one accord are saying that we're not going to, to every time he shows his head, we're not going to tolerate, we're not going to put up with it, we're not just going to be silent. It's a big deal, whatever, come on somebody. Get, it's a, when one of us are demonstrated, uh, uh, when one of us are affected, we're all affected. It's a big deal whenever any of us are discriminated against. And that's why I applaud the students of Olympic College and all of the ones, the communities that is here today. I am so thankful to be standing here in solidarity with you today. I'm so glad that we got a community that said we're not going to go to sleep on the switch. We're not going to allow these influences to come in. We're not going to allow this ugly monster to take over our community. Stop somebody a high five. Turn around. Give somebody a high five and say we're not going to take it. I stand with you. I'm so glad for the neighbor. I'm so glad for the friend. I'm glad for all of you being here standing together. Well, my name is Jonathan and I'd like to think that I am OC. You um, are. Oh, see, you are. But from what I've been hearing that goes on around here, that doesn't have a lot of meaning to me right now. No, it doesn't. Um, I'm angry. Uh, well, I'm pissed off is what I am about what's going on around here. I heard about the incident from an individual. Controversy was caused at the event when one of the speakers, as Alton as McDonald of the New Country what do we Justice do? Network, yeah, right. called for OC That's President exactly David what Mitchell's we're gonna removal. Do. We're going to stand office. up and fight. Um, I, I'm done talking about what's right and what's wrong. We're all adults here in a higher education facility. We know the difference between right and wrong. Yes. Yeah. Well, it's, it's great to look out in the audience and see signs that say uh, safety. Yes. Silence is defeat. Mm, Students forward. need to know. Mm -hmm. Everybody needs to know what happened here. Your college admitted that they believe they did the wrong thing that they did not follow a... That they did not follow a procedure for hate crime, but instead they followed a procedure for graffiti. <laughs> well, this is not graffiti. I see the beginnings of a reputation here. Sometimes people fear that when hate comes to town, their, their campus or their community will develop a reputation as a racist place. But I see a different reputation developing here at OC. Right. And it's a reputation that hate is not allowed. It's, it's a reputation that says when you come to OC and you spew hatred towards people of color, towards African Americans, Asians, Arabs, Latinos, Boy, up there at OC, that gets the white folk all riled up. Yes, you do! And they stand up with people of all colors yes, and they right say, not on our campus, not now, not yes, ever. Right. Don't let your fire up. Not taking it no more. No more. Not now, not never. Right.
Is Dr. Mitchell in the audience? The president of the college is in the audience? Yeah. Dr. Mitchell, your check goes to the bank every month. Because of the student here, that's the reason why you have a job. You have a responsibility to protect the health and welfare of every student in this campus. And when you fail to do so, then the student must say, no more Dr. Mitchell. President Bowers concluded the event by opening the mic to Hella Ilona Johnson, a faculty member, and then to anyone in the crowd who wanted to speak. The same type of leadership keeps handling the same situations in the same old way. People who do not have an understanding of discrimination and hate cannot truly understand it right. and fail to see the need in addressing That's it. Right. The salaries of administrators run into the hundreds of thousands of dollars. New buildings are being built all over campus. How much would it cost for loudspeakers? Yes. How much would it cost for security cameras? Right. Come on, How much is ignorance and silence worth? Yes. 